Let's imagine there's a dangerously large asteroid headed toward Earth. How would we detect it? How would we stop it? And if we can't, what would the impact be like? First, let's talk about detection. NASA and other space agencies are hard at work looking for asteroids. They're focused specifically on near-Earth objects, which are any asteroids or comets that come within 30 million miles of Earth. So far, more than 15,000 near-Earth asteroids have been discovered, and we're finding about 30 more every week. NASA believes we found about 90% of asteroids more than a kilometer across. But Congress has called on NASA to find any asteroids 140 meters wide or more. That would be big enough to cause devastation across entire regions. Here, we're lagging behind. We've probably only found about 25 to 30% of them. Both NASA and a private company have developed satellites to search for such asteroids, but neither has actually gotten the funding necessary to get built or launched. Still, it's hugely unlikely we'll miss any serious threats to Earth just because they're so rare. But let's say we do find an asteroid headed our way. What would we do to stop it? Well, there are three big possibilities, depending on exactly how much time we have. The first, if we don't have a lot of time, is we actually could use a nuke. Not to blow the whole thing apart, but to vaporize part of the surface and push the asteroid out of its current path. If we've got more time to work with, we could use a gravity tractor, where we bring a spacecraft alongside the asteroid and use the gravitational pull to drag it again off of its path. The final option is to hit it with a kinetic impactor which basically just means having an object hit it going very, very, very fast and, again, knock it off course. Basically, outer space billiards. All this takes time to get ready. It would probably take about 20 years to build and launch a kinetic impactor. Even if we had one magically ready to go right this second, it would still probably take one to two years just to fly it to the nearest asteroid. What if, despite all our best efforts, an asteroid is headed our way and there's nothing we can do to stop it? What happens then? It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. It's what we call a global killer, the end of mankind. Armageddon famously gave us an asteroid the size of Texas, but we wouldn't need one nearly that big to cause massive devastation. An asteroid between 100 and 250 feet wide would be enough to destroy a city. That's probably about the size of the asteroid that exploded above Tunguska in the Siberian wilderness in 1908. Any asteroid up to about 1,000 feet wide could threaten an entire region. Much above that, it could destroy an entire continent. Once you get past about a half mile wide, that's a global catastrophe. The impact that killed the dinosaurs was probably about six miles wide. So are we in any real danger? Well, probably not. Consider asteroid 2009 FD, which measures 1,500 feet across and has one of the highest probabilities of hitting Earth. That probability, 0.2% and it would hit probably around 2185. So yeah, the odds are low, and we've got time to prepare. But that's kind of the point. This is one disaster we can see decades, even centuries in advance, so there's no excuse not to be ready. Imagine how annoyed our 22nd century descendants would be if we had 160 years to get ready for this impact and we didn't do anything about it. Probably best not to procrastinate.